Welcome to our weekly episode of Game News, where we will bring you the latest updates from the world of gaming. In this episode, details on Uncharted 3, new Tomb Raider game announced, the agency delayed. But first, World of Warcraft Cataclysm. Thousands of fans waiting in the cold for the release of a video game. It happened all over the world, but also in Rotterdam this week. People of all ages gathered at the launch event of World of Warcraft Cataclysm. What differs a World of Warcraft launch event from other launches is that these people really like to express how much love they have for the game and how dedicated they are. This by dressing as their favorite game characters, for example. It's my sixth year that I'm doing stuff like this, so uh, yeah, you, you get used to it pretty fast. So first time is really awesome, but you get starstruck. You feel like Michael Jackson, alive. <laughs> The evening brought us presentations given by the makers of the game showing us new gameplay. Also, we had an interview with the developers where we had the chance to ask them about their favorite change of the shattering and how it felt for them to go back to the original areas of Azeroth. Oh, it feels great. As, uh, go going back and working on all that older content with all our new tools and our, uh, our new editor, uh, it's really fun to go back and uh, work on that stuff again and really improve things. The old world was really cool, it was really great, but it's always fun to go back from an artist's perspective and work on your stuff again and get a chance to really improve things for the better. So, yeah, it's really fun, so that's what I like. At midnight, the doors of the store finally opened and the people bought their copy of the new expansion pack. Sony has now officially announced Uncharted 3 Drake's Deception and has confirmed that it will support stereoscopic 3D out of the box. The game will play out in the desert surroundings with themes that look like they were straight copied out of an Indiana Jones movie. The story focuses on Nathan Drake and his relationship with his mentor and father figure, Victor Sullivan. In the search for a legendary and lost city, the journey will eventually take Drake to the Arabian Peninsula and the remote location of the Rub al Khali Desert, also known as the Empty Quarter. The game will also include the ability to engage multiple enemies in melee combat, new stealth abilities, as well as enhanced backwards climbing. In addition to the new features, the development studio Naughty Dog will put even greater focus on both online multiplayer and co-op, where the game will have a chance to compete against other big online games. Just like its predecessors, Uncharted 3 will be exclusive to PlayStation 3 owners and is expected out in late 2011. Rumors, predictions, and speculations have been flooding the internet the past year, but now Square Enix and Crystal Dynamics can finally put them to rest with the unveiling of the new Tomb Raider game. The first pictures of the new face will show you that the changes are clear and Lara Croft, the action-pumped fighting chick, has changed a lot. Square Enix will take you back to the youth of Lara Croft with the game that will represent as the first adventure for the young and inexperienced Lara and a prequel to the original story. The brand new Lara will only be 21 years old, so the game will take you back a couple of years and maybe explain a few things you didn't know about the series. Even though it was first officially announced this week, it's safe to say this doesn't come as a surprise to many. The rumors have been spreading since last summer when a survey from the developer's Crystal Dynamics popped up describing a concept for a reboot like this. Supposedly, the game's main focus will be on the concept of survival and being hunted by mysterious enemies. And if mistakes are made, the game will have several ways for Lara to die. One of them being described as Lara getting stabbed in the chest by a deranged knife-wielding man, which proves the fact that Lara isn't alone on the island, leaving her plenty of ass-kicking to do. And in order to survive, it's required that you keep your food and water reserves up. There are no platforms or release date confirmed yet, so be sure to check back on Gamerspawn in the upcoming weeks for more information. Well, Christmas is on the doorstep and games are being purchased like never before. That's why Sony's decision about The Agency comes as a bit of a surprise. The MMO game, The Agency, has been delayed until 2011 in order to give the developers more time to polish the game, says John Smedley, president of Sony Online. Even though this might be bad news for the excited fans, it's nice to see the supposed effort that is being put into the game. Although The Agency has had its hard times, the style of the game and the new concept is definitely interesting, and it seems that the times are changing. 
Online role-playing games for the PC once were the home of magic and fantasy, but now it seems the genre will have something new to present. Not only will the game bring new themes and worlds to explore, but also a new opinion about how role-playing games could be. The agency is definitely something to look out for. Activision has been teasing a game reveal on Spike TV for almost a week now, featuring a link to a mysterious website titled Murder Your Maker. The video quickly caused rumors and theories, saying that the teaser was for a new announcement of Prototype 2. The strange and peculiar website has now been updated with a short trailer, showing glimpses and flashes of what could look like the first prototype game, making it clear that this probably is for Prototype 2. The original website featured an image of a bald man staring at a wall of pictures, which may refer to the first game where a similar man named Alex Mercer was made into a shape-shifting mutant. With the images of the first prototype game featured in the new trailer on the website, the video has much stronger proof that a new prototype is in the making. Even though it could seem like we're talking about a new prototype game, it has to be noted that there is nothing on the website mentioning a new game, opening the possibility for yet another surprise. Well, that's it for this episode of Game News. For more news and updates, subscribe to our channel and make sure to follow us on Twitter and Facebook. See you soon. Follow Gamerspawn on Twitter and don't forget to visit our Facebook page.